do 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 out going out with my baby going out to hi james from ingvid excuse me for a second don't mean to make you wait but i just gotta put down mr e because he knows something you don't know about and what he knows is it's story time see he's relaxing in repose relaxing why we're going to do some business phrasal verbs okay and these business phrasal verbs i should explain quickly what a phrasal verb is it's a two to three word verb okay in which the particle modifies the verb i prefer to teach particles because usually you know what the verb means you just want to know how the particle changes it right cool so in this case it's for business because these phrases or phrasal verbs are often used in business. And I want to tell you a story. James is going to tell you a story today. Why a story? I tell you the story. I will explain the phrasal verbs and then you can check after if you understood. One time, a long time ago, say year 2000 in a country called America. And for some people who are complaining about me saying America, America is what we call the United States of America because we live in Canada. British people also call it America. Foreign people, you have a different way of calling our country, so it wouldn't be common for you to know this. So I can also say, in the United States of America, they decided, or actually they figured out, how to make more money and do less work, which they thought was brilliant. So they decided to contract out all of the work from their country to foreign countries. When they contracted out all of this work, some of the other American people that still lived there thought that they had really, they had sold them out. They thought the companies were sellouts and had sold them out. The companies just wanted to sell out all of their products, sell out of all of their products and wanted to do it as cheaply as possible. Now, because of that, what little workers remained had to work extra, extra hard and they got burned out. It was really, really terrible but the company still wanted to make money, wanted to roll out new products. Eventually in the year 2008, all of these companies, including the banks, needed bailouts. And that's when boys and girls, we paid for all of their decisions that they figured out. Now, some of you are going, what the heck is this guy talking about? So the first thing I want to do is go over, what does out mean? Because I mean, I know you know contract or figure or sell, burn, but maybe you don't know how they are modified by out. And this is a business, business phrasal verb, so let's go to the board, okay? When we look at out, you can see the arrow is moving. There's a room or something, a building, and the arrow is moving up this way. So the first one we look at is outward movement. Ward means direction, so it means direction out, okay? The second means not being inside. Duh. In Canada, duh means stupid. <laughs> so you don't go duh, because then I think you're stupid. Anyway, sorry, you're stupid. Correct way of doing it. So it means not being outside. So if you move outside, then you are not inside. Kind of seems obvious, right? It also means excluding, because anything that's not in the room is not part of the room. So it's excluded, not part of, yeah? Completing. Well, when you close the door, the room is completed and there's no access to it. Completing. And doing thoroughly. Okay, you got me. I don't know why doing thoroughly. It just means completing. Doing thoroughly is slim, similar to completing. It means going through the job completely in all ways. So when you do something thoroughly, you do it properly or you do a complete job. They seem similar. Don't worry, I'll explain. First, let's talk about contract out. What does that mean? Well, a contract, you notice I have a contract up here. It's a document between two or more parties saying they will work together. Con meaning with, and contract means to pull together. Well, when we contracted, or sorry, companies contract work, what it means is to give a job to somebody outside of your company. So it means people in your company don't get the work, you give it to someone else, okay? So in some instances, some companies decided to make other countries make the product and they would just sell the product. So jobs were lost because it was contracted out, given to another company. Go look at the video on layoffs, which is in phrasal verbs. You'll like it. I'll explain what a layoff is. Next, figure out. Figure out means to, well, you can see here, doing thoroughly. It means to go through a, an idea or a problem completely, not just parts, because when you figure something out, someone might say to you, 
How did you figure it out? And they expect you to say, well, I did this, then I did this, then I did this, right? So you go thoroughly through the problem and examine it to get the correct answer. So now you're going to say something like, okay, well, what does it have to do with selling out? Well, if you sell out of a product, which is the first meaning to sell out of a product, it means there's none left. Thoroughly, thoroughly, completely gone, nothing left, thorough, right? A thorough job is a complete job, nothing left, which is good. So you sell out and the past is sold out. The second meaning for sell out is this, and I should put this here. It means not being inside. And you'll notice that I put not being inside here. So you'll see there's one and two. Well, if you're a sellout, it means you have values or principles, things you think are true that you must do. When you're a sellout, you get rid of those or you exchange those values for money. So when sometimes companies sell out or, you know, a rock star, he's like rocking out and then he goes, Pepsi. You go, what a sellout. <laughs> he was a rocker. Then he sold out to get a million dollars from Pepsi. Many of our companies sold out their workers because they wanted to make more money. And the value was deal with America, only America. And they went, but make it in China because it's cheaper. <laughs> that was a great American value gone, like built in America. Gone. They sold out. They were outside of their values because values you must stay in to make them true. All right. So being sorry, doing thoroughly is when you sell and get rid of merchandise or you reduce your merchandise. Not being inside is when you sell out your values. Okay. So you notice we're going through here and you're going, oh my gosh, James, they match up. Of course. Teaching is what I do. <laughs> okay, so the next one we're going to do is, uh oh, I forgot to put this one because this is a funny one, to be honest. It's a little funny because right, I have to explain it. So I'm going to do this one last, okay? In business meetings, people will often say, I would like to point out. If you watch them in court, if you want to be a lawyer, always, judge, I would like to point out that my client was a good man and is a good man. And you'll go, what does he mean this pointing? I don't understand. I see fingers going here and here. Point out means two things. Number one, it means I want to, because there is something in here, I want to make your attention come to, come to it, or I want to call your attention to it, so please look at it. The second meaning of point out is I want to make a comment. So if I say to you, I would like to point out that yellow doesn't look good, I'm making a comment or my opinion. Or I could say to you, I would like to point out in section B14, I want you to look at it. It's important you look at it. Okay, so point out has two meanings, and it means not being inside. So I'm taking the context, or I'm taking the subject or the book we're looking at, and I'm taking that information out, so it's not inside, so you can be aware of it. Burnout. Remember we said the word completing? Well, when you burn yourself out, it means to be physically or mentally fatigued. In this case, it means extremely tired. When you're burned out, it means you have no more energy to either think, or no more energy to work. Your body doesn't work anymore, so you're burned out. Many athletes, after playing many, many years, they're burned out. They cannot do the game anymore. It doesn't work. But to burn out at work in, I think it's called koroshu in Japan, Japanese. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Or, um, and basically, workers who die from working. It's crazy. They work, 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 work. And, <laughs> He's like, what happened to Johnny? Koruchu. <laughs> now work. Back to work. <laughs> okay. You need some time off. Also check that video out. So anyway, <laughs> burnout. So we talk about completing. Burning the candle. No more left. Okay. And finally, not being inside. Rolling out. If any of you have the new... I must look like a sellout because I keep putting Apple products up here. I didn't buy it, buy it for that. But if you buy an Apple product and you're waiting for the newest one to come out, you would say, I'm waiting for it to roll out. It means for the company to launch. Launch means start. So when they're going to roll out the new product, and rolling is this. It means they're going to start selling the new product. Or I'm waiting for the company to roll it out, the Apple 7, or to launch it. Cool? Now, the one I took my time on, and it was very important in my story, was bailout. Bail is really funny, because bail means, in English, let's say there's lots of water and you need to move the water. Well, you take what's called a, a pail, which is something that looks like this. You know, it's got a little handle. I'm sure you've seen these at your house, right? And then you put it in the water, 
you get the water and then you throw the water away. And that's called bailing. Okay? So it's really taking something to move something somewhere else. Confusing? It should be. <laughs> you take something to move water, which is something, and you put it over there. Why is this important? When you bail someone out, it means they're in a bad situation. You give them some help or some money to move them out of that situation. See? Outward movement. Moving him out of trouble. My man is drowning. The water is over his head. You need to take the water out so he can, <laughs> he can breathe. In the year 2008, something strange happened. Multi-million, multi-billion, multi-trillion dollar banks were having trouble. They needed to be bailed out. That means our governments took money from us, gave it to them to get them out of trouble. Just saying, <laughs> okay? But you can also use bailout not just for money, but if someone needs help. Jones and Smith are really busy and I don't think they have the ability to do the work. We're going to need to bail them out. Okay, that means help them. Remember the story how I talked about bailing out the banks and they contracted out work? Now go quiz yourself, right? What's burnout? What's rollout? Go to where? <sighs> I just love writing this down for people, especially people who hate this part. Excuse me, Mr. E. Go to www.ing, as in English, vid, as in video, dot com. Okay? I'm sure you can figure out how to do it. Unlike other people, we don't contract out the work here. We do it ourselves. Okay? And I ain't no sellout because Apple has not paid me. I want my ducats. I want my dollars. <laughs> Maybe we'll explain one day ducats and dollars. It's another word for money if you're a rap guy, okay? Anyway, have a good one. Take care. Mr. E, you sellout. Yeah, I know you. Trying to roll out a product behind my back. Just, just pointing it out, son. Just pointing it out.